I want to talk to you guys about distractions, okay? Because especially with the way that, that our situation is now, distractions are like everywhere, either at home, when we're focusing on work stuff, distractions are everywhere. Um, and when it boils down, like at its very, very core, um, I want I like to keep things very, very simple. Cause it's the way that I like process things, honestly. And for me, this, a, a distraction is anything that takes someone away from the pursuit of their goal. Anything that takes you off of that that straight path with all the green lights, all right, that takes you over this way, over that way, It's a, I call it a distraction, okay? Um, again, anything that happens up here, anything that happens in your life, I look at excuses also are, are a form of distraction because there's something that take you off the pursuit of your goal. So, and the way that I like to think about it, if, uh, you picture an author, okay, any, any author, okay, who's getting ready to write like their next great novel that's gonna be like a, a bestseller, and they get all ready and they have their coffee and they have their desk and everything's perfect and they have their, all their mojo and they sit down and they get ready to write. They open up the computer and, and, and Word is open because everybody uses Microsoft Word to write their novels. And they get ready to write and immediately they stand up and they start going and straightening all the pictures, all the picture frames in their room because that has to be the most important thing. It's, it's those little things that take away from the pursuit of your goal. It's those little things that, you know, they don't, they might not necessarily hinder your goal or, or get you to not get there, but maybe at a slower rate than you would have. Um, so I want you guys to take a look at what you guys did in 45 minutes. And, and even if it's for 45 minutes a day, hey, look, it's not just 45 minutes. Even if it's for 45 minutes a day, you get here and you push yourself, that's 45 minutes of your day that you're going like this. You know, and you're focusing, you're dialing in, and you're focusing on the pursuit of your goal. And that's 45 minutes that wasn't there yesterday. There's only 24 hours in a day. It's an extra 45 minutes today. And it's gonna be an extra 45 minutes tomorrow with Sabrina's class at 845. And then come Monday, week four, again, you're right back into it. If it if anything else, if nothing, actually if nothing else, you take those 45 minutes, dial in, focus in, all right? And make these 45 minutes just in the pursuit of your goal, all right? That's a huge, huge accomplishment that honestly the majority of the population just isn't doing. But every day now for three weeks, you guys have been here and you have pushed and you have dialed in, you've focused in, and you've given it everything you got. All right, culminating it with the fastest speed punches and the hooks and the uppercuts <laughs> that I've ever seen. All right, and that's, that's, like, that's a very, very special thing for me. That's something that inspires me, watching you guys push yourself and watching you take nothing short of, yes, I can do this for an answer. No is not in the vocabulary <laughs> at, at 7 a.m. here. It's just not, it's, it's not something that you guys, you know, are used to or are accustomed to, and that's, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, I wanna thank you guys for pushing yourselves. I wanna thank you guys for letting nothing stop you or standing your way. Take that momentum, bottle this up and put it on your shelf, wherever your computer screen is, like put it on the shelf right behind the camera or TV, right? And open this up on Monday. Open this up on Monday after you've gone through a weekend, right? And just make it happen on Monday. Let's just focus on Monday, getting through that weekend, make the best choice that we possibly can. Um, a, I hope you all are staying safe and staying healthy and your families are safe and healthy as well, as first and foremost. Uh, B, we are having a karaoke night tonight at 8 p.m. Yeah, 8 p.m. So uh, the link that you guys signed on with to get to this class is gonna be the same link for the karaoke night. Signing on does not obligate you to sing anything, okay? The goal here is basically for us to do a social night out while also social distance. That's kind of we're bringing those two together. Um, Hopefully it's, I know it's gonna be fun. I know there's absolutely gonna be bumps in the road. It's not gonna be perfect because it's karaoke over Zoom and it's the first time we've done anything like this. So again, it's, we just wanna have a social night out and have people come come together for, for an event. So if you can come and you'd like to come, you're absolutely more than welcome to. If not, then again, I will see you guys on Monday. But again, if you wanna push yourselves even tomorrow for Sabrina's class, you know, get up at 8.45. I'll try and post the link. And, and Jill said, you might have to go into the National Max Challenge page and find their link at the top to get access to it. So if my link doesn't work, that one should most definitely work. Um, but take that class tomorrow at 8.45, all right? If you can, if you wanna wake up and if you're feeling it, take the class at 8.45. It's gonna be a challenging class, all right? Sabrina's teaching it and she gives it everything she's got. I know you guys will too, because I've watched you guys work out now for three weeks plus. Obviously all of you longer than that, but three weeks plus of hard work, all right? Make it happen. You guys got this. Once you put your something, something nice and close to the camera, all right? All right, take it to the max on three, nice and left. Thank you guys for pushing yourself. Let it close out the week. One, two, three, take it to the max. Take it to the max. Rest of your day. Thank you guys for pushing so hard. <laughs>